The joint freeing series does exactly what it sounds like. It frees up space and energy in the joints. Too often, emotions and stiffness get stuck in the joints. Inflammation gets stuck in the joints. So freeing up space and energy there is going to improve your circulation, it's going to improve your posture, your balance, and it's going to significantly decrease pain. So this is fantastic for people who are just getting started moving or coming off of long periods of stagnation or sitting due to whatever reasons you want. It's also fantastic for people who have been like pounding the pavement and high intensity workouts to add into their regular repertoire of a warm up or a cool down. So we're going to go through each of the major joints and engage with each of the joints, which as you can tell, will increase and improve our body awareness. So starting with our ankles, we're gonna sit straight out, and if any time any of this is not comfortable for you, I invite you to use modifications. Modifications, to me, are the highest form of yoga. So if it is uncomfy to sit directly on your butt, what you're gonna do is take a blanket or a pillow and sit it right under your butt to lift you up a little bit higher. So the higher the hips are over the knees, the easier it's gonna be on those joints. We're gonna start at the ankles. So bringing those feet together, we're gonna to inhale, reach those feet out, point them. Exhale, bring them in. We're gonna do this six times. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale. Next up, we're going to bring those feet right beside each other. And what we're going to do is pretend like our feet, our feet are, is like a book. Our feet are like a book. Our feet, <laughs> our feet are a book. So closing those feet in together. I'll shift this way to show you. So pulling those pinky toes in towards each other and then opening them away from each other. So what we're going to do is inhale out here, exhale, close that book. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, I needed this one. Exhale. A couple more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. I think this was our last one. Inhale. Exhale. If I mess up the count. <laughs> so now all we're going to do is make circles with those ankles. So three one direction and then three the other direction. Beautiful. Now we're going to get into those knee joints. So what you're going to do is bring one leg in towards you. Again, if this is uncomfy, sit on a chair. So you can sit up on your chair and you're going to do this same exact thing. You're going to bring your hands right underneath this hamstring to really support it. And what you're going to do is inhale, bring it up, Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep that foot flexed. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. My hips are ready. They know they're they're up next. So again, bring that other leg in. You can move some meat around too if you can find those sit points on the ground. That always helps me. Bring those hands behind your hamstring. Inhale. Exhale it in. Inhale. Exhale it in. Inhale. Exhale it in. A couple more. Inhale. Inhale, exhale, one more. Try 
Paris and Onyx gets on me because they, they say a couple and I really meant a few and he always says a couple is two. <laughs> Release those legs straight down. This time we're going to start really engaging those hips. This is one of my favorite ones and it's also one of the hardest ones for me. And what you'll find are some spots are harder, some spots are easier, and that is okay. So what you're going to do, again, if it's not comfortable to sit like this, you can prop your um, butt up with either a pillow or a blanket or a couple pillows or a couple blankets or even do this sitting on a chair or laying in bed. So what you're going to do is flex your feet, brace yourself with your arms. So we still want to be sitting up tall over those hips, not coming like crashing back here. So sitting up tall, using these, your hands as tripods, you're going to take that pinky toe down towards the ground and you're going to inhale, drag that leg out, exhale, big toe, I started to say your index toe, big toe, and <laughs> exhaling in. So inhale, pinky toe, drag it out, exhale, big toe, drag it in. That's two, inhale, exhale, that's three, inhale, exhale, that's four, inhale, exhale, that's five, inhale, exhale, that's six. Go at your own pace with your own breath. If I am moving too quickly, pause it, do your each side, and then come back to the next one. So again, on the left side, take that pinky toe down, inhale, exhale, big toe, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, that's three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five, one more, inhale, exhale, very good. We're going to go to hands and knees, so if it is uncomfy for you to be on your hands and knees, then again, prop up some pillows, some blankets, or even a thin layer of blankets, and place them under your knees so you have something comfortable and supporting underneath your knees. So what you're going to do is bring your wrist right underneath your shoulders, so directly underneath your shoulders, hop in front of the mirror if you want to give yourself a check, and your knees right underneath your hips. So this gives you a little bit of space. And a lot of times when we say underneath the hips, we have this vision of our hips, right? So we take everything nice and wide. So you want to think these hip points right here in your, in the front of your hips by your pelvic bone. So knees straight down from there, straight down from the hips. We're going to inhale, look up and take your belly button down and your sit bones. So think taking your tailbone and your eyes up towards the sky. You're gonna exhale and reverse that. So exhale, tuck that chin into your chest, pull that belly button up into your spine, tuck that tailbone down towards your heels. Same thing, inhale, tailbone and gaze goes up to the sky. Exhale, bring it all in. Belly button pull up to the spine, trying to make a really big C, a big stretch in those shoulder blades, the top of the back, inhale, one for three, exhale, tuck it in. See if you can articulate that spine. So think about finding space between each vertebrae. Inhale down. It helps me to think about squeezing my knees towards each other. That gives me a, a bigger, stronger base of support. So the knees coming in towards each other. And that just kind of helps light up my core to really support those joints. Inhale, I have no idea what number we're on. So what we're gonna do is finish this one out and then do one more. So inhale, tailbone and gaze goes up towards the sky. Exhale, tailbone comes in, chin tucks in, big, big stretch, and then release it. You can sit back on your heels if that's comfortable, roll out those wrists. Now we're gonna come back to all fours. And what you're gonna do from here is give yourself that nice strong base. So really press into the floor, press away from the floor, and then squeeze those 
hands almost like you're trying to squeeze them towards each other. This is going to give you a stronger base. Same thing with the knees. So I could kind of like sit like this or I can really engage everything and have a nice solid base because I'm going to kick that right heel straight back. So inhale, exhale, pull it into the nose. Inhale, reach it out long, exhale, pull it in. Inhale, reach it long for three, exhale, pull it in. Inhale, out, exhale, in, that's four. Inhale, out, exhale, pull it in. One more, inhale, out, exhale, pull it in. Place that down, wiggle it out, give your wrist a break if you need, and then set yourself back up for the left side. So inhale, kick that heel straight back, exhale, tuck it in. Inhale, exhale, tuck it in for two. Try to keep those hips level. Inhale, out, exhale in. Three, inhale, out. So, I mean, you don't want this hip kicking up like this. You want the hips to stay level. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in. I think that this is six. Inhale out. Exhale in. Release that down and shake it out. That one is wonderful for freeing up space in the hips and also starting to engage your core so everything starts to work together nice and smooth and evenly. This next one is one of my favorites. So here, we're gonna set ourselves back up on all fours, but we're gonna bring our knees and our feet as together as we can. So you might even wanna turn your hands out away from you to give yourself a little bit more space and leverage. You're gonna inhale here in the center and you're gonna exhale your hips to one side. Inhale, oh. Back to the center, I don't know if you heard that, but exhale to the other side. My spine was happy with that movement. Inhale, exhale, this is three. Inhale, exhale for four. So we're going three times each side. Inhale, exhale for five. Inhale, exhale for six. Come back to the center, wiggle it around, and shake it out. If it's comfortable for you to sit back on your heels like this, you are welcome to do that. If it's not, find your prop or your bolster or your pillow or your, sit in a chair. <laughs> Whatever is the most comfortable for you, you're going to sit down and we're going to move now to the wrists. To the wrists? To the wrists. Straight out like thriller hands. You're going to inhale. Pull those fingers in, exhale, open them up and bend them back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. This feels good after being on them. Inhale, exhale. One more, I think exhale. Beautiful. Shake them out. Relax them down. And then take those hands right out in front of you, palms facing up. And what you're going to do is away from you. Forgive me. <laughs> Inhale your thumbs away from you and exhale the pinkies towards you. So it's like you're trying to take your thumb to this side of your wrist and your pinky to this side of your wrist. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. It's hard not to turn them completely. Try to keep them flat as if you're holding pots. Inhale, or holding anything. Exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. And then roll those wrists. Three times one way, three times the other. Feels good. We're going to get into those elbows. 
So taking those hands straight out. And what's gonna happen is sometimes when we take our hands out like this, we reach with our shoulders. What we wanna do is suck those shoulders back into their sockets and then reach out here. Inhale, exhale, tap those shoulders. So trying to keep your elbows in line with your shoulders. Inhale, exhale. Again, jump in front of that mirror if it helps you want those elbows to be up, not down here, not jutting up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Feels good. Inhale. Inhale, exhale. Maybe this is your whole workout. That's beautiful. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. I feel like I'm working. We're going to pick up where we left off. So those fingertips at the shoulders and the elbows in line with the shoulders. We're going to inhale, open up, exhale, bring those elbows in towards each other. Inhale. It's okay if it doesn't look exactly like mine. It's okay if they don't touch. Exhale towards each other. Inhale. Open up. This feels so good on the heart. Exhale, bring it in. Keep it going. Inhale. Fill up that chest. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. And shake it off. Next, we're gonna bring those arms up like we're a goal post. And you're gonna pull those fingers back. Inhale, exhale, take them down and reach them back behind you. Inhale, exhale. This is beautiful for the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, halfway. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, I think last one, inhale, and exhale. If I'm wrong, do one more or one less. <laughs> Wiggle out those shoulders. If you're getting tired of sitting like this, give yourself a break. You can come up on your knees or sit another way. <clears throat> but for this one, you want to give yourself some space off the floor. So. Hands straight down at your sides, palms facing towards your body. You're going to inhale, lift those straight up and reaching back. Exhale, taking those pinkies straight back behind you. Oh, I always get some nice freedom in this one. Inhale. Exhale. Really reaching back, reaching those pinkies back behind you. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. A couple more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Wiggle it out. Sitting on your butt. Again, however you're comfortable. If this is a little too much for you, I like to bring one foot in front of the other so my hips are a little bit even instead of that kind of like propped up feeling on one side. And as always, prop something up on your butt, bring your butt higher or at the same height as your knees or sit down in a chair. We're going to use our knees as anchors. And just like we did on all fours, we're going to create some really nice open space in the spine. So nice flexibility in the spine. We're going to take our hands in front of our knees and what we're going to do is Stick that butt back, stick your chest open, and raise it up towards the sky. Inhale here, exhale, pull that chin into your chest, tuck your tailbone towards your heels, and use your knees to get a big stretch in the back. So we're trying to turn your spine into the letter C. So inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And come back up to sitting. We're going to keep finding some movement in that spine. What you want to do is take your hands on each side. You're going to inhale in the center and exhale, tip over to the right. Plant that left hip down. So really plant it down in the floor. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the other side, planting that opposite hip on the ground. Inhale in the center. Exhale over. Inhale. Exhale. One more each side. Inhale. Exhale. If something's feeling really good to you, feel free to do extras. Back up to the center. Here, we're going to do a side twist. So usually what I see in a lot of yoga classes, is people grab onto their bodies and they yank this twist. We don't want to do that. Our hands are simply just there for guidance and support. So we inhale in the center, exhale, twist to the right. So we're twisting from our belly button, from our spine. Inhale to the center, exhale to the left. Inhale to the center, exhale to the right. This is like ringing, I imagine it's like wringing out a rag when you're done with it. So just wringing out, getting rid of any of that huh, that we don't need anymore. Exhale to the other side. One more each side. Inhale. And back to the center. Final and very important space that we need to find some openness is the neck. So we're going to start by simply looking up and down. No forcing. So we're not let, like letting the whole head drag back behind us. We're intentionally looking, taking that chin up, inhale, exhale, bring that chin into the chest. Inhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, One more, inhale, exhale. Now that we've done yes, we're gonna do no. So just taking that head side to side, like you're saying a very big no. So inhale in the center, exhale to the right. Inhale in the center, exhale to the right. Inhale to the center, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, one more each side, exhale, inhale, exhale, back to the center, we're going to drop those ears down towards our shoulders, so inhale in the center, Exhale, release that ear. So the shoulder stays relaxed down. Inhale to the center. Exhale, the ear drops towards the shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more each side. Inhale. Ground down through those shoulders. Inhale. Inhale. Now notice. Notice the energy that's running through your body. Notice things that have been stuck and are able to move. Notice things, even emotions, her energy that maybe was stuck in one spot that's now able to move. And this is intended to be done as a consistent practice. So use it as often as you like, as your entire workout, as your warm up, as your cool down, whatever feels good.